Hey, I'm Corey with Layers of Grace Designs, and today we're gonna to do a quick tip video on how to repair some dresser drawer clips that have been broken off. So, if you're into furniture flipping or refinishing, and at some point in time you picked up a used piece of furniture, whether on Marketplace or a hand-me-down, and you pulled out one of these drawers here, and you looked on around the back, and that plastic piece is broken off there, in this video we're gonna teach you exactly how to repair that and to replace it so that you can make this thing looking brand new again. All right, stay tuned. We're going to go through the supplies, and then we're going to show you how. All right, so this is your first time watching us. I'd like for you guys to subscribe. We are professional furniture finishers in Florida. We own a company. We've been doing this for over 16 years, and we love to teach people um, how to make this a business and how to flip furniture for profit. So with this uh, video here, that what you're watching, you're wanting to know how you can replace this plastic clip. I actually get this call on the weekly. Uh, customers are always wanting these for place. Um, you can charge a pretty good price to get them replaced, and the only thing you really have to buy are these plastic clips here. Um, I get these at Ace Hardware where we're at local, but most hardware stores will carry these. And of course you can always get them on Amazon no matter where you're at. Um, I usually buy whatever is the cheapest because they're all manufactured the same. They come in a different, couple different colors, but honestly, like they, they do break over time. So just get whatever is available and uh, get that to go. Um, in addition, if you have a power drill, that's helpful. You don't have to have one. And then of course, you're gonna to wanna to try to find a screwdriver that is small to fit into these little areas here. And that's pretty much all you need. You need the replacement parts and some screwdrivers and you are good to go. All right, let's jump right in and let's get this repaired. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off the um, old pieces here. I'm gonna use a small screwdriver and I'm gonna just unscrew this here. And then sometimes these pieces get a little stuck and so you've got to kind of help them out a little bit. Try to get it um, wedged out. A flathead screwdriver works pretty well in this situation. Or if you have a chisel or just honestly anything that is hard that you can kind of get in there to try to get this old one out. All right, and that's broken off. Uh, what that looks like brand new, the piece I have right here that is going to be um, this end right here. The pointed side, we want to point towards the back. If you have it pointed towards the front, the drawer will not close enough. So we're gonna go ahead and take this piece here. We're gonna stick it down, trying to line up the holes as best as possible. And then I typically use the previous screw because it's already the correct size to use and that just makes it so much easier. We're going to try to line up in the holes as best as possible. And then using our small screwdriver, we're going to screw her right back down. Probably the hardest part is trying to find this previous screw hole. And if it's not stripped, you should be good. And as you tighten your screw up, it'll push down the plastic clip for you. All right, there we go. So that's nice and secure in there. Uh, using the previous hole means that everything will be center in alignment. So we still have a 90 degree angle here. We didn't have to do any measuring. All right, now for our next step, we need to replace this piece. Um, as you can see, this is, this one's only got a broken off corner, um, but we need to go ahead and replace the whole thing. We're gonna use the power drill for a little bit of extra speed. And we're gonna pull out the three screws that go in here. And of course, I want to reuse these screws because they are already the length for my board here. If I get a longer screw, it would go through the back end and then I would not have a good job done. All right, so I pulled that off. Now we're gonna put this one back in uh, just probably 90% of you watching this video are like, I just need to know what direction I need to put it in, bro. <laughs> well, here we go. This is the end that goes in the inside, okay? So make sure you got a good vantage. And then I'm gonna put it in right through same area. Push it down as best as possible. There's like a little metal clip. You gotta stick it through the hole. 
and then we're ready to power drill this back in. Do not over tighten these because you don't want to bust through the wood on the other side. You just need them snug. You don't have to have a power drill as well. You can use your, use the hand. All right. So now we have a full replacement on both of these parts. We're gonna slide it in, make sure everything's lined up and works right, which it should because we use all the same holes. It's a little hard at the, the first one. And there we go. Now I have, see the difference here? I'll have to kind of back you up here on the camera. But what we, what, what we just fixed was, see how this one has this wobble? And then this one, this one does not have the wobble anymore. It's nice and secure. So now we got that fixed. Just repeat that process in as many drawers as you need, and then your problem is fixed. All right, so we really appreciate you guys watching today's video. Um, if you haven't liked or subscribed to the video, make sure you do this. This is exactly how you fix this problem. So we want to let everyone across the country and in the world know how to fix these problems. And again, if you are into furniture refinishing or flipping, or maybe you have this side hustle hobby you've been doing, you want to make it into a business, you need to go visit our website, layersofgracedesigns.com. We have courses where we teach people all of our tricks, and we'll even teach you how to make this a business and make profit and you can leave your normal monday through friday nine to five like i did i was a school teacher forever and i finally said you know what i'm opening up my own refinishing shop and i did it and it's been the best decision i've ever made so go through watch some of our other videos make sure you go to our website check out what we have to offer there and as always god bless